Nottingham Panthers and Sheffield Steelers come into this via play Elite League encounter with similar recent records. Both have lost their last three games. Both were shut out for the first time this season last weekend. However, the similarities stop there. Panthers have had a traumatic week to say the least. Losing two players in Brett Walishka and Craig Puffer leaves the home side short. The Steelers, on the other hand, have an embarrassment of riches in their lineup, made stronger with the return of Mark Olivia Valoran last Friday. Panthers desperately need a win in front of their fans. Steelers desperately need a win to keep their title challenge alive. It should be in a fascinating encounter. And again, fires in. First save for Greenfield. Another shot will come in. It's Gagnon, gets it to Anderson. Anderson's got Levin with him. Uses him. Levin fights in. Good pad saved by Greenfield. That was heading into the corner. Now here's Welsh. Turns away from Neverline and goes back to point. Fired in again. Anderson will get there ahead of Peg Gray, but then has to face Brendan Connolly. Anderson still with it. Just trapped by the boards. Neverline just taps it out. And here's Martin Natal. Nice pass to Valorand. Valorand, oh, he's found the net, and Steelers have an early goal. And Mark Olivia Valorand opens the scoring for the Sheffield Steelers. And you know what? An amazing start by the Panthers. First couple of minutes all over them, couple of chances. But you see that speed coming the other way. Martin Latal there, right through the middle, dishes it to Valorand, and just, you know, two guys with, with top end speed. And he hits Valorand, and Valorand in there, and he goes short side, high blocker. Steelers win the face off and keep it in short. Buys it in and of course Jones a little bit of trouble. But now Hammond's away. Mike Hammond. He's got Sorensen coming with him, but Hammond opted for the pass and it's in! Alec Hammond back to the off greenfield. Panthers are level. Yeah, I'm actually I'm gonna wait and see how that went in first. It, it, it looked like Hammy was trying to pass that across the whole way. He goes to make that pass. Oh, off the, uh, off the skate, yeah. Off the skate of Schultz. And, and you know what, Schultz is doing the right thing too. He's got his skates facing up the ice. You know, he's taking that pass in late away. And you know, Hammy goes for the pass across there. Off, off the skate and in. Tough break there for the Steelers coming back the other way. 1-1. One, one. one by Myers. Down the centre, Jack Hopkins on with Council and Myers. Here's Broussard looking for Hopkins. Hopkins just gets his stick on it and goes deep. And Latau can come away and Latau will use his speed and Latau will get in front and Latau will score on the backhand. And, and you know what, again there, it's just that blazing speed. You know, we've seen it twice with Latau. First he comes through the middle, dishes to Valorant for goal. This time, you know, he doesn't need to uh, doesn't need to dish to anyone else. He'll do it all himself. But, you know, again, you just you, you give someone like Latau or Valorant that puck wide and they are gone. And Martin Latau, you know, he's done it in this building before. And again there, just, just pure speed and skill. Gets that puck. He's one on one and he's gone. Played across and now here's Luke Ferrara up against Sam Jones. Ferrara does well, gets it back to point. Gagnon fires in. There it is. Oh, surely! Oh. No! Ferrara misses the net. I think, I think, I think Jordan Kelso was upset there as well, just as he was kind of sniffing around for a rebound. He gets his stick broken in half. Didn't see how that happened, but yeah, he definitely wasn't happy there. Myers puts it around, but it's picked up by Latau. Ferrara will go in. Now it's with Mosey. Mosey turns away from Sorensen. Sorensen stays with him, but he gets it to Connolly. There's Hammond. He's put right against the boards and it looked to be a bit of an elbow there by Latal. And now gloves are starting to be dropped. Mike Hammond was not happy with Latal at all there. No, I'll be interested to see what the penalty is because Latal came in with a big hit, but, but the hand wasn't up then. And then I think Hammy retaliated, but Latal, I mean, I would imagine it's going to be, you know, two each, maybe two for the for the hit and Hammond two for roughing. But I think it was, you know, pro probably, you know, two minutes each is, is probably about right. We'll, we'll see. As Brady gets it across to point, Lindgren. Back to Brady. Brady fires it in on it. Just 
goes the wrong side of the post from this angle. I thought it was dropping in. Yeah, I was the same as you. You know, got a piece of something greenfield and then just kind of looped up in the air and there was a, a second there where I don't think anyone knew where that was going to land. Oh, great play as Levin is found. Levin back to Lindgren, bit, bit of space. Lindgren finds the net. It's his first goal as a Panther and it's 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, a great goal there. Just, just a great delay. Hits the late guy and he fires that in from distance. Really good screen. See Matthew Myers, Levine, couple of big bodies in front. And he, oh, it's actually going to be off of, uh, I think that's off of Fab's knee in front there. Maybe we'll see who gets credit with that one, but it looked like it uh, comes off Fab's knee. A little bit of a redirection in front, but either way, it's in the net. Lindgren, now Brady. It's against Canyon. Gagnon does well, and now Brady's got a bit of space. Gagnon continues to run. Oh, Adam Brady! What a goal into the corner! Panthers lead 3-2! Yeah, what a shot there by Brady again. Just, just kind of out of nowhere. He gets a step down this side, way outside the circle here. Oh, I, I think it gets a piece of Davy uh, Davy Phillips' stick. If, if we see that again, I think it's kind of going at Greenfield, and it just elevates at the last minute off of Davey's stick and, and takes a little bit, might be going a bit too quick here, but Davey gets a stick in, I think it kind of ramps up off that and into the net, but Adam Brady will take that regardless. Adam Brady with his 15th of the season. He's the leading point scorer for the Panthers. Kept in by Davey Phillips. Dowd, can't take it with him, and now can Panthers break away? Here's, here's Hammond, he's got Davey Phillips in front of him, Hammond. Beats one. Oh, he's, uh, Steelers did well. They came back in numbers and snuffed out the threat. That's well stopped by Lindgren. Hammond, beautiful pass, finds Welsh. And Gagnon's in space. Matthew Gagnon. Oh, great save, Greenfield. Yeah, huge save. But now here's Levin. Oh, he can't get it past the last man. And Steelers clear. But here's that chance. Gagnon, Greenfield just tracks out really well, makes himself huge. and. Really, and then Levin here again. You know, Levy's so skilled. He, if he gets out onto his backhand, he's going to fashion himself a really good chance. Switches the lanes, and Levin gets away from one. May get away from two. David Levin looking to put it back out in front for Anderson. It's loose, and Greenfield gets it. No, Welsh, and it comes out the zone. Oh, chaos down there. Caruso. Panthers have it again. Here's Anderson, bit of space, gets it back. Jeremy Welch hits the post! And Anderson can't get the rebound, so close. Let's look at this, this is Levin. Here's Anderson then, Levin just almost getting contact on it. Yeah. And then this from Jeremy Welch. Oh, he just gets, a, he just gets a piece of it with this Greenfield, kind of like under the arm there, maybe just clips a bit of it, but he does enough and it hits the post and, you know, Steelers fight on here. Face off, comes back into the Panthers zone. Steelers have it. Oh, and it's loose right out in front. Surely they have scored. It's no, Champini. No, goal. no, no goal. goal. Waved off by the referee straight away. <clears throat> now, there's probably going to be a review, I would think, but it's been called no goal on the ice. Yeah, I, I think I remember the one here, for, you know, where it was like the other way, and uh, there was like a tiny bit of contact against. Uh, I, th I think it was Greenfield when uh, Levy scored that goal, and yeah, I mean, obviously. Obviously, they'll probably have a look at this potentially, but I mean, yeah, it was it was called no goal on the ice. So you see Aaron Fox on the bench. He's looking at it again. I think he might. I think he might challenge this. You know, uh, there's. I mean, he's. I didn't see who it was there, but the forwards tied up with Jones the whole way. I think it's uh, Allen here. If you watch Allen's feet, oh, if you watch Allen's feet, he, he's he's kind of tied up with Jones the whole way. So. I think Aaron Fox is going to challenge. 
I like the way he's like showing the ref his replay on the thing. I mean, you, you kind of see it's it's actually our defenseman that, that knocks Jones over. So we will see. It's a goal. He's given the goal. Here's Caruso. Finds Ricci. Oh, and it's won by Ciampini. He's right back out in front. Oh, it's a great save by oh, Jones and save. another. Goodness me, what a save. Right out in front. That could be a game-saving save. What oh. a save that is. Oh, I think it hit the. I think it hit uh, maybe Anderson in front there, on the on the on the rear. But yeah, huge save there. Guy walking onto that. Chases that one in. Brassard gets a <laughs> stick on it though. <coughs> Panthers win it back. Welsh gets it around the boards to Summers. Summers to Brassard. Brassard right through the middle. Levin. Levin right across. Oh, what a save, Greenfield. That was. Yeah. And now Steelers come the other way. Christo, Levin, brilliant. And now Levin's away again. Gets it ahead of him to Anderson. Caruso, oh, oh. another great save by Greenfield. Two great chances for the Panthers. That play by Levy was outrageous, by the way. Toe drag, spinorama, back. I still didn't see if Greenfield got a piece of that. I assume he did. Sorensen gets it to Hammond into the final five seconds. That's it. And that's it. We are <coughs> going to go to the overtime period. So the Steelers with that goal, controversial as it was. Uh, it's, a point. it's tied the game. Both teams will get a point. Hammond taking no chances. And now there's a bit of space for Levin to skate into. David Levin. Levin runs off. Welsh, here we go! Oh, it's a great save by Greenfield, and he's not frozen it. He has now. That that puck was there forever, just laying there. I, I, like you said, Greenfield with another, you know, game-saving stop. But it was it was right there, and I don't think anybody knew where it was except the official there, just waiting to blow the whistle. But yeah, Gr Greenfield grabs that one, and again, you know. We talk about him all the time, but you know, Levin there, just his, this is him, isn't it? Three on three, you should just leave him out there for five minutes. Like, here, just just twirls in, head up the whole way, you know, spins, throws in, you know, you know great play again by Brassard. He's had a great game as well. and Just had to lift it on the backhand. But here, here comes Steelers. Oh, there's a bit of space and the Steelers have won it. Scott Allen gets space and finds the net. And it's a controversial victory for the Sheffield Steelers after and, uh, the third goal was waved off. If you watch it, Evan Mosey does a really good job just taking the D-man out of the play and it just allows Allen to walk in. And again, you know, you talk about Jones and again, he's only really beat, beaten on a breakaway. You know, you can call that a partial breakaway, but you know, Greenfield with a, with a massive save at one end. And then Allen comes in the other way over the pad and in. Yeah, he comes in there with a great play. Evan Mosey with a great drive through the middle. And Scott Allen ends it. Albin Lindgren will take the award for the Nottingham Panthers. Yeah, obviously, uh, he had a good game. He had a couple of good chances. Obviously, he got the assist on that goal there. And uh, yeah, you know, he, he kind of, I think he's got better every time we've seen him. So again, that, that stands the Panthers in good stead. And the Panthers will take their applause and they'll get a good round of applause. Corey, how do you unpick that one? Um, yeah, I mean, we were in that game for a long time, played uh, pretty well. I thought there was uh, a really good sense of urgency from, from our group, played hard, um, scored a few goals, a lot more than last weekend. Um, could have scored a lot more, had some great opportunities. Um, they got some their, their goals early were just um, pure individual speed I mean, uh, and, and fantastic skill. Like uh, They've got some game breakers over there who really can fly. Um, but it's uh, hockey's, hockey's tough. I mean, so close and, and um, you know, decisions, you know, on, on 
you know that challenge that's a, that's a tough one I'm not, I, don't, I haven't seen it so I don't know if they're right or wrong and then obviously in overtime just a little mistake and, and uh, pucks in our net game's over but uh, it should have been over for us with a couple of chances we created late in the third and uh, in overtime. With Steelers head coach Aaron Fox and Aaron that was a close one. Yeah that was um that was wild 60 minutes of hockey there. Um, I thought we got off to a really good start. Our, our first periods have been awful the last six games during the stretch. Got outscored 6-2 in those six games, so it was nice to have a 2-1 lead. And then, you know, Not Nottingham pushed back and, and got a lead there. And when you're when you're on the kind of run we're on right now, a, lot, a little bit of doubt slips into your mind. And you got guys gripping their stick a little bit, but we stuck with it. Um, huge tying goal. And then to get the extra in overtime to bust us out of this little slump we're on right now, hopefully changes the tide for us moving forward. Big third goal, and obviously you use your coach's challenge there, and waved off on the ice. Why did you use your coach's challenge? Um, well, we felt that he was pushed in initially um, to, the, to the crease area. He's looking to get to, to the paint, and it, it, to us it clearly looked like Gags kind of drags him into the paint, and Puck was there, you know, so, you know, nine minutes in a hockey game, I felt like it was definitely worth the challenge. I, we, we thought it was was no goaltender interference on our part because he was pushed in and, you know, happy that that was the call. Big few weeks coming up now as we go towards the end of the season. It's very tight at the top and every point counts now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we get Coventry tomorrow before the break here. You know, I think that break will be good for all the teams in the league. Obviously, the national team guys don't get much of a break right now, but... Um, you know, we want to go into that break with a good feeling and Coventry beat Cardiff 6 nothing tonight, so we know they're playing very good hockey and it won't be easy tomorrow as well and we'll have to reload here and, and, and be ready.